Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are talking about scale drawings, scale drawings, scale drawings. Let's do this. We're going to first off talk about what a scale draw image is, or what a scale drawing is, and then we're going to discuss reducing, enlarging, and then a little bit about rates and ratios. Let's get started. First off, a scale image will look like this. It's when one image is either reduced or enlarged, and we'll discuss that vocabulary in just a second, but it maintains all the same ratio from one to the next. And again, that vocabulary will be explained in just a second. Um, sometimes with images, we call that an aspect ratio. So if you do um, work with, with pictures and you're reducing them in, or enlarging them, you might have heard of that, an aspect ratio. This is an example of something that is not scale images. I did shrink down this square to being something smaller, but I changed the shape. So again, some a scale image is also known as a similar image. Scale images are the same shape, but different sizes, basically, in the most basic terms. So we can take an image and reduce it, or we can enlarge it. Reducing an image, as you might have guessed, is making it smaller. We use this when we are making plans for building projects, or if you're looking at something on your phone and it's a picture of something that's larger, like maybe a picture of a house, or an airplane, or the sun. These are examples of reducing an image. When they keep the same basic look, the same shape, but a different size. When we enlarge something, that's when you make an image larger or bigger. We use this when we're looking through a magnifying glass or a microscope, or if we zoom in on something to see greater detail. For example, that tiny little rectangle you might have noticed in the far left bottom corner there. What is that? Well, let's zoom in a little bit more. Oh, wow. There we go. It's the cover of a book. And if we zoom in even more, boom, we can see that I wrote that book, right? This is what we do sometimes with, with scale images. We can either enlarge them or we can reduce them. Now, when we're talking about math terms, you'll see this grid I have here. Um, when you're looking at scale drawings and you're putting them on a grid or a plane like this, the images need to be proportional or they need to have equivalent ratios. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. One, you can change the size of the squares in the background. So you'll see from this um, uh, first image, I've now doubled the, the length and width of the squares, so now four squares will fit inside of one. So if I draw a triangle on the first um, set of squares, and then I draw one on the second set there, you can see that they are proportional because the triangles both go one, two, three, four, five, six along the bottom, and then they're both one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares tall, right? Because we changed the size of the squares, and you can see that. The other way we can do this um, and check if they are proportional is to leave the squares the same size and just check. We're going to make a set of ratios and see if they are proportional. So let's do that. We're going to take the small triangle and we'll say what is the height of that small triangle from the, from the base to that point up at the top it is one two three four that's the height and the height of the larger triangle if you count that one out it is eight now we'll look at the width just the the measurement of the base of the triangle that has a width of three and the width of the larger triangle is six so this is one example. Now, I am not saying that triangles that have the same height and base are always congruent or, or similar. I'm sorry. That's not the case. But with these ones that I've drawn, it is. I've created proportional triangles, okay, or triangles that are in scale of each other. And the reason you can tell that they're proportional is you look at those numbers on that table, 4, 
eight, three, six. And you'll notice that those are equivalent fractions. 4 over 8 and 3 over 6. Or you can notice that if I multiply 4 and 3 times the same number, our constant, they would give you 8 and 6. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. So basically the larger triangle is twice as big, right? Or t the sides are, and the height are twice as much. Anyway, so you can kind of see that they are proportional. What if I turn the side the triangle sideways like that? If I turn it sideways, it doesn't really change the um, the fact that this is a scale drawing of that triangle, but it does make it a little bit more complicated for us to say, oh, check side A B and see if it's proportional to D F. Right? It's a little bit tougher. So when you're doing that and you are labeling triangles or or lines or points at all, you want to find out the points that cor correspond with each other. So we could say that point A corresponds to point D. You can see that here. A would be, if we were to turn or rotate this triangle, point D would be the bottom left-hand corner, and if we rotated the smaller triangle, A would be that um, bottom left-hand corner as well. So the point A on the smaller triangle correlates with the point D. If I were to say these triangles are similar, I would say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DFE. I wouldn't say ABC and DEF because we try and say the points that actually correspond with each other. So you can see I lined up, I purposely edited it so that they would line up directly above each other. A corresponds with D, B corresponds with F, and C corresponds with E. So that's why we would say triangle ABC and triangle DFE. It gets a little bit complicated, but try and go the, basically see which point would correlate with the same one and then move your way around. So a quick recap, scale images are similar. In other words, they're the same shape, but different sizes. If a figure's sides are not equivalent ratios, they are not scale images, and scale images are proportional to each other. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up, share it, and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.